All right, I got to figure out how I'm going to have this flag, first of all. I talked to the uh, gallery the other day, and uh, he wants to have it upright. I just got to figure out everything about that. And I also got to sculpt something for the top of it, which I don't know if I can do. I'm just... There's a lot of questions right now in my head as to what I can do and what I can't do on this. Time to play with some clay. All right, I've been doing some research as to how long of a pole the uh, guide on would be on. I'll, I'll put up a picture right now of a painting that was done um, of a warrior carrying a guide on that was captured at the Custer Battlefield. Um, I'm not doing that one. I'm just uh, using that to show me what the flag looked like. Uh, quite honestly, I didn't know what the flag looked like. And uh, the gentleman wants me to have a rifle like he's got. Uh, but I'm going to be having him reining the horse up so that the horse comes up a little bit on the front legs. So I've got to figure out how I'm going to do that and have him holding the rifle at the same time. Uh, there goes the flag. Anyway... I'll have him holding, let's see, where, where did my flag go? Nah. Oh, there it is back there. So anyway, uh, the flag itself will be this big. I mean, hold on a second. Will be that big. Uh, I took the measurement off of the uh, photograph that I've got, it uh, was about the uh, height of, uh, or the depth was about from the uh, groin area to the top of the, the warrior's head, and that's what I've got right here. And so, uh, that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, I'm just... Uh, I'm still just trying to figure out how the hell I'm going to do this because, quite honestly, this is a very difficult uh, design to produce, but I think I can do it. I just got to figure out how I'm going to do it. And it's got to look good from all angles, too. So that's what I'm trying to work out today. I don't know if I'm going to get much sculpting done today because I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. And making all those stars, I have no clue how I'm going to do that yet. But I will. I'll get it all figured out eventually. I want to, He wants his, the horse's mouth open, too, so... That means he's putting some strain on the horse's uh, rein. Let me see. There we go. I'm going to re-sculpt this head a little bit, too. I'm not happy with it, but anyway. I am going to put uh, clay on this base here just to uh, lock it in. I'm only going to put clay on the top part of this base because I like the uh, shape of it and it'll look good as a bronze base.
is I'm going to have his tail somehow come down and I don't know how I'm going to do it. I, uh, this whole project is a little scary for me because I haven't done this in a long time where I've had to have a horse rearing up like this without a support. Uh, the legs aren't strong enough in bronze to hold the bronze up, the weight of the, the piece. And so I've got to figure out a way to support the whole thing and not uh, have it go bending on me after it's been cast and in shipping. It's an engineering thing that all sculptors have to work out. when they're working with bronze. Now, one way they could do it at the foundry is putting steel rods up inside the bronze. And I've had a, uh, I did a bucking horse piece once that uh, had one leg on the ground and nothing else supporting it. And it, that's what they did on that one. But that's a real pain to cast and uh, cost more because of that. And I'm trying to save as much money as I can in costs so that the uh, bronze doesn't get out of a certain area of uh, sellability. If it gets too expensive, uh, you can't sell them. So you got to Think about all that too. I'm going to angle this foot up just a little bit. There we go. Okay, I raised the horse up a little bit in the front. And so now I gotta anchor that uh, post so it doesn't go sliding back into the hole. Okay, putting that little peg in that hole will keep it from sliding back into the hole that's holding this uh, support. And all I gotta do is cover up that part. 
There you go. Now it's not going to go down and it's not going to go up. And I did the same thing underneath his belly just to keep him from the clay from sliding down the pole too. So got everything worked out here. And I've never done that before with wooden pegs. I just I always use screws. But it occurred to me that using a screw might be a little intrusive on the design so I've uh, worked that out in my mind sculpting is nothing but <laughs> constantly figuring out ways of doing things to hide what you did now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do his tail the tail is usually the last thing I do, but I gotta design it now. So that I've got it worked out. best to do it now rather than wait until I get a lot of detail on the hips and stuff and what I do here would be interference okay and see that might be just one strand of the uh, tail that would come up into there so I'm just gonna drive that into the clay I don't know if this will work but it gives me that third contact so tails are usually the last thing I do and it probably will be on this too but I may have to do it early just to work out the design a little bit better. Okay. So that's going to be pretty much all I'm going to be able to achieve today and I'll pick this up tomorrow I want to remind you that I have instructional videos that are available in fact I spent this morning uh, getting out a set uh, to a client and uh, they're streaming on my Vimo account and when you purchase one of my videos it uh, won't be a DVD that I send you it'll be a link to a streaming video that you can play on your device uh, or on your uh, computer and uh, you can get the information off that I uh, get an order and within a minute of me seeing the order you'll have your videos or video depending on how many you buy and how many you don't buy. So, just keep that in mind, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Please give me a like and a subscribe, and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.